And once again, to the last part of the party, I want to welcome you very uh, warm to this house uh, on behalf of the family because uh, this is a two family house. I'm living in one side, and the owner and his wife and three kids, my son and do uh, daughter in law, are living in the other end. So, why here? Because 90 years ago, everything started here. And why in this rural area? Even if you look at Stuart today, you might say, oh, we are out in the very uh, far countryside. But imagine how it was to uh, come to Stuart uh, 90 years ago. It was a uh, rattle road uh, and uh, everything was uh, very natural. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but uh, Svend Olofsson, one of the founders, was born here, actually just where you're sitting, <laughs> <laughs> right there, because his uh, parents had their bedroom in this room, and having uh, seven children, they departed the room uh, in four, and uh, well, then. Uh, Sven grew up as uh, number uh, three of those uh, seven uh, children and his uh, elder brothers uh, didn't want to be a farmer and uh, so Sven was the one who was expected to be a farmer. Okay. But uh, he uh, acted so awkward. <laughs> so, well, it was a question and then he started studying engineering. And after that, it was in the beginning of uh, the uh, wireless days, no, not wireless then, but linked up, but still, uh, they were making radios. And uh, uh, he started on his own here in this house, and uh, uh, that was too dull, so, he wrote uh, one of his friends, no, he couldn't because he was so busy installing electricity in the, the area where he lived. But ask Peter Bang. He has just been in the uh, uh, US and his, his rich father. So, <laughs> that was a good idea. so yeah, so they started uh, here and uh, quite soon after. On uh, November the 17th, uh, 25, they went to Copenhagen, made all the rules, of, uh, made all the papers, and uh, their father especially uh, put uh, the shares and started. And started with uh, making uh, uh, vision and missions, which can still hold. I don't think they talked in... Uh, design yet, but still they wanted quality. And um, it was uh, uh, quite f uh, f interesting why did they stay here, because uh, uh, well, there had been a dairy in this wing, so there was an empty space. And uh, there was a lot of farm hands and uh, maids. And when the cooker, the cooking maid, maid finished peeling the potatoes, she might screw or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, hands. yes, <laughs> and also the mother of Sven, Anna Olofsson, she made meal for the occupied in the fields as well as those who occupied the bank and others. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so you might imagine this house, which was a family home, but still in the wing over there, when you pass around, you can see Jane's uh, kitchen was the uh, uh, office of Peter Bang, his bedroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, then also, uh, uh, the laboratory. 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 Yeah. And um, 
So until there were about 25 employees, they stayed here uh, and I, they've been all over the house. Also at the, uh, in the yard when they were cleaning uh, sheets for making the uh, generators. And um, then I think Anna Olofsson said, hmm, that's enough, enough is enough. And they decided to build uh, the first factory in Struer. And they, uh, uh, Peter Bang's uh, father tried to persuade them to get nearer to Copenhagen. And he said, no, the uh, authorities here are so kind and uh, we have still... Flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, like this. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but still. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, we have a lot of potential, even this rural area. But the fact was perhaps because he had fallen in love with a girl from Stroh. And in that way, the two family, Bang and Olofsson, were merged to, to one family because uh, Peter Bang was married to uh, Sven Olofsson's sister-in-law. So in that way, my husband had two uncles, Bang and Olofsson. <laughs> They were very special persons, both of them. I think they a characteristic in common. They were playing all their life. Tried to uh, event and do something new. They uh, tried to uh, electrofish in our ponds down there. I don't know if the fish reacted or what. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, uh, they uh, drilled for water, <coughs> uh, tried uh, everything new. And when my husband, who was the nephew of Sven Olofsson and lived here, uh, one Christmas Eve had an electric train. <coughs> Sven Olofsson was already in the house for the event, and uh, Christmas Eve, Peter Bang came, left, leaving his family uh, back in Stor, getting out here to see if the electric train was working all right. And my husband remembered how that Christmas Eve worked because he had a new electric train, but his two uncles were working it, and only the next day he had permission <laughs> to get to it. So, and also, they were different in, in many other ways. Uh, no, that was equal, but they were different in, in other ways. Because uh, Sven Olofsson was a philosopher, the one who was trading, and uh, uh, Peter Bang was an engineer. He was full of uh, ideas. And when you could see Sven Olofsson always neatly dressed the whole day, then you, uh, Peter Bang, could get an idea in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. getting over to a factory in his pyjama, <laughs> and then next morning the employees meeting up might find the boss in his pyjama still. <laughs> and also when he met, uh, properly dressed, then he could be greasy and his shirts out of the trousers in few uh, hours because he was so occupied with what he was doing. Uh, so they, they merged very well together. Um, they both um, died quite early. Uh, uh, first Sven Olofsson, he was only uh, 52, and then uh, 10 years after or something like that, Peter Bang uh, died. Sven had no children, uh, so uh, therefore his uh, brothers first the eldest and then my father-in-law took over the <coughs> chairmanship of, uh, uh, of the uh, firm and uh, very much later my husband were uh, involved in the uh, board and was uh, chairman of the board for 12 years and were member of the board for 40 years. So, 
that's why I'm so involved <laughs> emotionally <laughs> in, the, uh, in the farm. Uh, when, well, I think you've got more or less the rest of the uh, history about how things developed. But it's also c quite nice to see how it worked uh, in, in other ways because there have always been women behind. And uh, <coughs> Sven Olofsson's mom, as I mentioned, was supporting them not only by uh, supporting them in meals, but also sometimes when the, the waiters were not at the right place the right day then, she had she had a lot of uh, egg laying hens and then she supported them economically during the time. Mm -hmm. But and also uh, my the the uh, the um, uh, my father excuse me my father in law's uh, wife were really supporting not only uh, her husband, but also Sven Olofsson. Sven Olofsson was uh, 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 um, single, but not lonely. <laughs> and uh, more, more than once, he called, oh, Karen, uh, um, I've got a dreadful woman in my house. I, I'm going to Copenhagen. Will you throw her out of my house while I'm away? And she did. And I think she told him to behave in another manner, but uh, without so much success. <laughs> um, uh, I'm the, the, uh, uh, <coughs> the third in the row of uh, Olofsson female, and my husband and I had had a, a fantastic cooperation. We, uh, he was uh, very much involved in in the farming, but also in Bang and Olsen and many other uh, firms. And uh, we have had a, a ping pong, uh, I say, we use each other's box and ball <laughs> uh, uh, to try ideas. I've been, I am an occupational therapist and have been working like that for uh, all my active life and have been a, a politician locally and uh, it has been a very good inspiration so I was not in a, at the same way, uh, way as the elder uh, female of Olofsson the women behind I was I say I was the woman beside and that was uh, quite important and now the new generation is, are finding the old age uh, with also taking the tradition from the old ones to open the house for friends of Bang and Olufsen. And we do that because we uh, think it's nice to live with the history, but the history only lives when we are telling it. <coughs> so, um, today not, we have, we are not active uh, members of the firm, but uh, still uh, like to live the history and are proud of it. The house you are in are built in 1636 uh, uh, and uh, was altered in the middle of uh, the eight, 19th century. And uh, also this wall can take a lot of, tells a lot of uh, histories. Um, you, I was, I'm quite often asked, where is the ethic, where it all started? It has always been a living house, mm -hmm. so uh, when it was not in use as a, a, a factory anymore, then, <laughs> well, some kids uh, went into the room and, or, and things like that. But we still have uh, the feeling that uh, this were an inspiring house. Mm 